Hey YouTubers, it's Colby72. I'm going to do a quick video. This is my first video. I've never done one before about a specific item, but I recently acquired this S-Mine. Before anyone comments and says anything crazy, it's totally inert, cannot go off. It's missing all the primary pieces in the middle uh, to make it go. It has no powder to it, and it has holes drilled in it. But I still wanted to do a video on it because recently I was looking on YouTube, and the only video I could find was one done by the History Channel. Uh, talking about the S minor, the Bouncing Betty, as we like to call it, and uh, it was only about 30 seconds long, but as I scrolled through the comments, I saw one guy who, obviously in the same position I was, looking for S mine videos, and he states this is the only one he could find, and not only that, um, all the other S mine videos lead him to Call of Duty. So I wanted to do a real um, video about a real S mine and give you some of the basics. I don't know everything about this mine, and I welcome anyone who can... Uh, further my knowledge on it and maybe someone will learn something from uh, the stuff I have to say. So this is the S-Mine. It was made by Nazi Germany from 1935 to 1945. They made close to two million of these mines. Uh, the rare, th the thing about this is it's pretty rare. Uh, a lot of them are still left in the ground. If you go to the Eiffel National Park in Germany today, you can see they have huge areas gated off where there's still mines laying in the ground. Um, and the multitude of them are the S mine. Any ones that were dug up were destroyed. So this is a pretty rare item. I've uh, been collecting Militaria for um, close to uh, close to ten years, and I've only seen one of these. And and uh, on the internet, I saw one that was on uh, sale, but it went so quick. So uh, I'm lucky to have it. But I'm going to break it down as as the knowledge I know and kind of tell you how it works. So. You have the main tree, this is what I call it. So you have three different types of fuses, the main one being this pressure fuse that's in the middle. Uh, this pressure fuse is pretty unique. Uh, they would bury it up to about this area, so all this would be under the ground here, and this would be sticking up, uh, not being seen by anyone walking by. And when a soldier stepped on this and um, depressed it in, it would cause a striker to fall right here, and it would hit a, um, a percussion cap in the middle, sending uh, a flame down under. And once it got in here, it would hit a small disc, and the disc would cause the, the propellant and all the gases to expand. It had nowhere to go but up. Once that happened, the entire canister moved up. This outer piece stayed in the ground, and the rest of it and the charge followed up. These side fuses, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they are pressure and um, trip fuses. So the trip action, I'll, I'll show it to you. I don't know how good you'll be able to see it, but um, let me hold it in front of the camera here. Okay, so, right here you would hook a piece of twine, and it would be, if someone tripped and pulled it, it would yank out, causing it to do the same exact thing as the silver uh, pressure fuse. There's a striker in it as well, and once that happened, a series of chain reaction would occur. I'm going to take the tree off, so I'm just unscrews just like this, you'll see a hollow tube in the middle. Now, once that happened, let's say someone stepped on it, it would go, the flame would go straight down here and ignite that powder. That powder would come up, push this can out, and then it would rise up and it, it would uh, go off. The crazy thing about the mine is that this particular mine was not made to kill anybody. This, this mine was intended to maim somebody. Uh, and I've talked, to, I've interviewed, interviewed a number of soldiers and uh, from the Second World War, and almost all of them will tell you that um, to have a quick death is yes, is a horrible thing, but to be maimed and lose your legs is almost as bad. And uh, if this went off, it was intended to go about two and a half feet in the air and then explode, sending its charge in about a thirty-yard radius. It was lethal. It would maim an entire squad of men. This mine actually kept the French out of the Rhineland. When the Germans took the Rhineland back over, they planted a number of these S mines out in the woods. And when the French army uh, tried to come back and retake that area, they were stepping on these mines. And it is a very, very um, efficient psychological weapon because these men were getting maimed by these mines and no one wanted to go in, back into the Rhineland. So it's one of the reasons Germany got to keep it till the end of the war. They have it today, but um, this is one of the reasons why they had it. But So this would rise up and it would leave this piece in the ground. So I'll move that out of the way real quick. So this is what you have. I'll take this piece off. You can see there are a couple of holes in it. It's still in pretty good shape for as old as it is. This cup would be 
on the outside piece right here, this is actually where the charge is supposed to be. So let me show you real quick. Let me get behind the camera. So there's the, there's the uh, actual shot. Don't know how good you can see it. I don't have a lot of good light in my uh, room here. Let's see if I can turn on a light. Okay, so you can see the shot. It's supposed to be in this area here, but I have it in here because this wobbles and then they fall out. So I'll leave that light on. Maybe it'll make things a little easier to see. So let's take this off and I'll show you what the actual shot is. So there are a ton of beads in here. There are ball bearings, like this. And then there are sliced up pieces of steel rod. Very, very easy to make, very, very efficient. Does its job very well. As a matter of fact, it did its job so well that after the Second World War, a lot of soldiers were interviewed about the scariest thing they encountered in Europe, and unanimously, it wasn't the artillery, the German 88s, uh, it wasn't the Tiger tanks or anything like that. They unanimously said it was the S-Mine. It was so uh, damaging, in fact, the United States copied it and, and created a series of founding mines. So they copied the S-Mine. That's how efficient this thing was. So this particular one uh, is in pretty good shape, still has its original paint, and it's actually for sale if anyone's interested in buying it. But that's not the intent of the video. The intent of the video is to give you guys a little idea as to how the mine works. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, uh, post them, send them to me. Uh, if you have any comments about what I said that might have been inaccurate, I welcome that as well. So until next time, see you later.